Okay, I'm making the pattern for this wood sign. It's for a customer of mine who sells exotic birds and reptiles. I kind of laid it out really rough on paper. I'm actually using a letter style from Mike Stevens, one of the most famous sign painters who is incredible at lettering. Um, what I'm going to do is just go over this and make sure I have all my letters correct. What I use is charcoal because it's very easy to wipe off if you need to. So when you're laying it out, you, I use it like a stick of charcoal, sand it on a piece of sandpaper, and I'm just going to go over the letters that I did so I have a better idea of what I'm looking for. And that is how I do the lettering. I am going to add what's called a drop shadow to it. So I'm going to lay that out right now. And basically what it does, it makes the letters look a little three-dimensional. And it's going to be red letters on a white background. And like a gray drop shadow. And this is what this is. A lot of people put their shadows on the right side of the letter, but since I'm left-handed, I was taught to put it on the left side. I think I'm actually going to make the shade a little smaller for this letter. This is the best way to get nice horizontal lines is to get a wooden yardstick, light wood, they're three feet. It's uh, a sign painter's, one of their best tools to use. And what you do is you want to put your pencil on the top of it, put your hand right here, and you want to slide your hand on this bottom edge and it'll give you a really nice line. So that's the pattern all laid out. Um, the bottom line is not centered because since I'm making a pattern, I'll be able to move it exactly where I want on the sign. Um, now what I do is I pounce the pattern, which is basically a pounce wheel that has a little wheel on the end with spikes on it. And what I do is I go over the letters and it leaves me a perforated dot pattern right here. 
And uh, once I pounce this, I'll show you how I put it on the board and uh, put charcoal over it, and it'll give me a nice pattern to go from. And this is really easy. A lot of people lay out directly right on the board, and that's what I usually do, but I was kind of unfamiliar with this letter style, so I wanted to draw it out on a piece of paper to get it nice and perfect before I actually started drawing it on the board. There's also a tool called the, it's like an electric pounce machine. It's basically like a pen um, with a tip and you put the pattern over a metal surface and you draw with the metal pen and it kind of gives sparks and gives you a dot pattern that you can go from. But I, I still do it by hand. That's pretty much the way I do everything is, is old school by hand. And once I finish pouncing this pattern, uh, I'm going to put it on the board and I'm going to letter it.